All right, good afternoon on this Tuesday on what has been a below normal Tuesday. Finally, at least in terms of that afternoon temperature and the morning temperature as well It's a nice morning. It's been a nice afternoon, at least compared to what we've been recently. And we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. The high did climb to 94 today. So with that, uh, it's a little bit later in July compared to what I was talking about earlier for the last time we were cooler. But the last time we were cooler was July 22nd. So a little bit less than a month. The last time we had a cooler afternoon than today. The high on that day was 93. But here's what I'm very excited about tomorrow morning. My forecast low 71 degrees this morning. It was 74 tomorrow morning. I'm going to go 71 for the low and we have to go all the way back to mid June. The last time it was cooler than that 69 degrees back on June 13th. So it's been months since we've been as cool as what we're going to have tomorrow morning and soak that up because I have new record heat later this week and into the weekend. So in some places it may even be cooler than that 71. In fact, I Quite a few places, I think, outside of the DFW area, down in the 60s, mid to upper 60s to start tomorrow, maybe even a location or two or three in the low 60s. But, you know, DFW, the concrete, the asphalt, that urban heat island effect definitely holds up the temperature compared to everybody kind of outside of that. So that's why I have about 70 to 71 in Fort Worth to Dallas. But you're outside of that, down in the 60s. Either way, it will be another below normal morning tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. Be a little closer to normal than today, but I do have us below 100 degrees, at least in and around DFW. About 93 to 96. The triple digits look like they might return for western areas tomorrow afternoon, but most of North Texas will have another day below 100 degrees. Of course, it hasn't rained recently, so even though we've cooled down just a little bit, that fire danger does stay elevated for the time being. It'll actually probably ramp up a little bit more later this week into the weekend as not only the breeze picks up, but uh, also those temperatures are going to go up as well. And, you know, with the heat and, you know, everything we've been dealing with and the drought and all that, we'll be back to having that high fire danger, especially across the western half of North Texas, where all those burn bans continue. I was looking at the latest map today, and it looks like Hunt County has now been added to the burn ban list. So that makes Every county you see in orange in North Texas under a burn ban, which is almost everybody, but not quite. Obviously, a few locations across northeastern North Texas not under burn bans at the moment. Things are quiet right now. Going to stay quiet for the time being. It's quiet all across Texas, actually, uh, for that matter, with the exception of a little bit of rain down in deep south Texas near the Rio Grande Valley. We're going to be below no, uh, 100 degrees again tomorrow, but as high pressure builds back overhead, we quickly jump up to 107 on Thursday, 108 on Friday, 107 Saturday, and then potentially 106 on Sunday. So get ready for another round of well above 100 degree temperatures and maybe even some record heat as well. Light winds and comfortable 71 for your low tonight and then tomorrow hot, dry and seasonal. It's also an ozone action day. 96 will be your high. The record is 107 on Thursday. That's also what my high is. The record is 107 on Saturday. That's also what my high is. And on Sunday, my high is 106 and the record is 107. So it should be uh, some near record heat uh, the rest of the week. Ex Except for tomorrow and through the weekend and next week too, just keeping those triple digits around uh, as we head through that week. All right, cool down 2023 was nice while it lasted.